Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, you're going to learn how to access Lambda's environment variables in Python. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give it a name. Choose Python for runtime, then hit create function. Navigate to the configuration tab, then click on environment variables. Hit edit, then add an environment variable. Specify a key and a value, and then expand encryption configuration. I'm going to leave encryption in transit unchecked for now, then hit save. In the code tab, I'm going to copy paste pre-written Python code, which grabs the database name environment variable and prints it out on the console. Hit deploy, then click on test. Give your test event a name, then click save. Click on test again to execute your Lambda function, then verify that you do see your database name in the console logs. Next, let's go back to the configuration tab. This time, I'm going to enable encryption in transit, then click on encrypt. Pick a KMS key, then click on encrypt, then save. In the configuration tab, choose permissions from the left menu, then click on edit in the execution role section. Here we need to specify a role which will give my Lambda function access to the KMS key. Let's navigate to the IAM service, then click on policies. Hit create policy, then choose KMS for service and decrypt for actions. For resources, I'm going to specify the ARN of my KMS key. Hit next, then give your policy a name, then click on create policy. Next, in the left menu, click on roles, then hit create role. Choose Lambda for AWS service, hit next, then search for the KMS policy that we just created. Give your role a name, then click on create role. Let's go back to the Lambda window and hit the refresh button. Select the role that we just created, then hit save. I'm going to navigate to the code tab, then copy paste pre-written Python code. Here I'm using the B64 decode method to decode the encrypted value of my environment variable, then printing it out on the console. Hit deploy, then click on test to execute your Lambda function. Verify that you see the database name in console logs. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.